In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to automatically move emails to a folder in Gmail so that as soon as an email that matches the criteria you set gets sent to your Gmail address, it will automatically go straight into a folder. So the first thing you need to do is create your folder if you haven't already. So if you already have this folder here and that's where you want your emails to be moved into, that's great, you can skip this step. But if you haven't yet created the folder that you want the emails to be moved into, you'll just need to click plus here next to labels to create a new label. In Gmail, all the folders are actually called labels, but they really work the same way as folders would in any other email app. So Timmy's just going to keep calling them folders. So when it says new label here, or you could think of it as new folder, You'll just need to type in whatever you want to name your folder. So to me, we'll just type Timmy's folder and then click create to create your folder. And now once the folder that you want emails to automatically go into is created and in this list here, all you need to do is create a filter that will automatically move emails into the folder. So to do that, just come up and click on the settings icon here and click see all settings to go into settings. And now in this menu across the top here, click on filters and blocked addresses. And now you'll see a page here with all your filters. So if you've ever created any other filters in Gmail, you'll see those filters listed here. But if this is your first time ever using filters in Gmail, it will look something like this. And you'll just need to click create a new filter to create the filter. And now you'll get this box here with a whole lot of options. And this is where you'll get to choose the criteria for which emails are moved into the folder. So you could put someone's email address in the from field here, and then any emails you receive from that person would go into the folder. Or if you type the word bananas or something like that into the subject box here, then any email you receive that has the word bananas in the subject line would automatically go into the folder. Or if you typed bananas in the has the words box here, then any email that contains the word bananas anywhere inside the email would automatically go into the folder. And you can also do it the other way around if you want. So if you only want emails that mention bananas to be in your inbox, and all the emails that don't mention bananas to be moved into this folder, you could put the word bananas in the doesn't have box, and then any email that doesn't include the word bananas would be sent to the folder, and only emails that do have the word bananas would stay in your inbox. And you can actually use multiple different options if you want, but you have to be a bit careful about how you do it. For example, if you put Bob's email address in the from box here, and you also put bananas in the subject box here, that would mean that only emails that came from Bob and have the word bananas in the subject would go into the folder. So if you want to do something like that, that's fine. But if you want any emails that come from Bob to go into this folder, and any emails with bananas in the subject line to also go into this folder, you'll need to just put Bob's email address in this filter. And then once you've finished creating the filter, you can go back and create another filter to move any emails that say bananas in the subject line into the folder. But for this demonstration, Timmy doesn't care about bananas at all. Timmy's just going to put Bob's email address in the from box and have nothing else. But once you've entered in whatever you want in any of these fields, you'll just need to click create filter to proceed with creating the filter. You might feel like you want to click search because that's the button that's blue and it really looks a lot more like a button. But all that will do is just show you all your current emails that match the criteria. So you'll need to click make sure you click create filter to actually proceed with creating the filter. And now you'll be on this page here where you'll get to choose what happens with any emails that match the criteria. So to make it move the emails to the folder, 
you'll just need to tick the apply the label box because we want to apply the emails to a label or a folder and then click choose label here and now you'll have a list of all your labels. So Timmy will click Timmy's folder because that's where we want the emails to be moved to and now any emails that match this criteria will go into this folder. But you might also want to tick this box that says skip the inbox because by default when you set this up any emails will go into the folder you selected but they will also still be in your inbox as well. But if you tick this box any emails that match your criteria will only show up in the folder and not in your inbox. So it's really up to you whether or not you want to tick this box depending on how you want it to work. But Timmy's going to tick this box so that any email from Bob will automatically go into Timmy's folder and not show up in the inbox. And you might also want to tick this box down here that says also apply the filter to all your matching conversations. So Timmy has received five emails from Bob in the past and if Timmy ticks this box that will mean those five emails will be moved into the folder. If you don't want that to happen to your emails and you only want the filter to apply to new emails you receive, you can leave this box unchecked and all your ex existing emails will stay the same, but Timmy's going to tick this box so that Timmy's five matching emails will be added to the folder. And now once you've chosen all your options here and finished setting up the filter, all you need to do is click create filter and your filter will be created and you'll now see it here. So now when Timmy receives a new email from Bob, you'll see it hasn't appeared in the inbox because Timmy ticked that box to make it skip the inbox. But you'll see down here, this folder has an unread email in it. And if we go into the folder, the unread email is the email Timmy just received from Bob. And it's right here in the folder. And because Timmy chose for it to apply the filter to existing emails, all Timmy's previous emails from Bob are also in this folder. So that's really cool. But if you didn't tick the box to make emails skip the inbox, it will work a bit differently. If Timmy goes into the settings here and clicks see all settings and goes back into filters and blocked addresses and clicks edit and continue, and then we untick this box and click update filter to update the filter, it will work a bit differently. Now, when Timmy receives an email from Bob, it will appear in the inbox, but it will have this little badge next to it that says Timmy's folder because it's inside Timmy's folder as well as being in the inbox. And if you go into Timmy's folder, it will appear inside Timmy's folder as well and it'll have a little badge that says inbox. And that's all there is to it. Now any emails you receive that match the criteria you set will go straight into the folder. But if you want to remove these three different category tabs here and have everything all just in one inbox in Gmail, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video right here.